everyone, welcome in. Thank y'all so much for joining. So you can assign the roles as you see fit. Okay. And as always, thank y'all for liking the video and interacting with the video, all your likes and comments. They do help out my channel, so I greatly appreciate it. Hi everybody, what's up? So Scorpio, we're gonna start with whatever comes out. It may or may not resonate. We got the tower at the bottom of the deck. This is your energy, okay? Your intuition is telling you something about a person. Somebody can be younger than you with the page of wands or vice versa. There is someone you're connecting with, Scorpio. They're very confused, all right? They're confused with what they want in general. Yeah, look at this. Someone here is very confused with what they want, but they don't want to let you go. Okay, that's for sure. They don't want to let you go. Let's see. Oh, success. Six of wands. Successful outcome. I feel like, you know, you could have Leo in your chart. You don't have to. You could be connecting with someone who does, but this is a victory. I'm also getting, tell me more about the Six of Wands. I do see you guys receiving some sort of reward or recognition. You're kind of being, I want to say you're being watched. Let's see, why, why the Six of Wands? Nine of Swords, something that's been bothering you. There's a successful outcome to that. Something you have anxiety about. The Six of Wands, you know, you're all in different situations. So this is basically, I'm, I'm getting you overcome something, okay? You're overcoming, maybe you lack confidence in some area of your life or there's something you're doubting. I'm also getting something here about opening up, a fear of vulnerability. What else for Scorpio? Anyway, you're gonna overcome the worry with the Nine of Swords, Six of Wands, High Priestess, Pisces Energy. Well, you are a natural BS detector. Okay? I feel like it's because you've been through so much. You've overcame so much in your life, Scorpio. You've acquired all this wisdom to where you know when something, you know what's up, is what I want to say. Yeah, look, the Hierophant very wise okay but it took it took issues it took sleepless nights okay to you know acquire this wisdom why is the high priestess here the chariot dang more overcome you are steps ahead of the people around you if that's what you're worried about you know you are steps ahead of this person or these people way ahead and it's because you've been through things and I'm getting you being able to read other people very well whether you realize this about yourself or not some of y'all think you're crazy some of you guys are like okay am I really seeing this correctly yeah you are you're seeing a situation correctly you're feeling it correctly you got to trust your intuition now there is a fine line between paranoia right and intuition um, but there's something going on here for sure that you're picking up on could be dealing with another water sign a cancer Scorpio Pisces I have air here as well and fire let's see what is this what are you up to Some of you guys are planting seeds. It's kind of like, I don't get anything malicious that you're doing, but it's kind of like you plant seeds in people's minds. Like you could leave little crumbs or little drops, little hints for people to, it's like you're not outright telling people things. You're letting them figure it out for themselves. What are you doing? Okay. So, you know, you could be this high priestess here. Some of you guys are the high priestess and you don't even give yourself credit for it. Because I feel like if you are a light worker or some sort of guide on this earth, that's how you teach people. 
the only way to truly teach people is to drop clues, drop hints. Why do you think the universe is so cryptic with us? The universe is cryptic with us because we have to come to our own conclusion. We have to learn things for ourselves. because if we flat out right tell people what it is, they're not going to get it. You can't just tell people the lesson. They have to actually put the puzzle, put the pieces together to figure it out for themselves. And for some reason, I'm talking to a Scorpio that that's what you're up to. You're, you're kind of letting people or someone in particular figure something out for themselves. And so I do feel like this is your, you know, this, this is your confirmation, Scorpio, that, you know, you're a natural guide for people, whether you realize it or not. Because it kind of looks like this is coming natural to you. Let's see. What else for Scorpio? The Empress. Definitely seeing your work life progress here. Okay, we have the Empress, the Three of Pentacles. Scorpio, there's a people, there are people around you that are very intrigued by you. They're also confused by you. You have this intriguing, confusing. <laughs> um, let's clarify that. Strength card. Leo energy. You're just really standing out right now. There's something here about your influence, your influence on other people around you, your coworkers. You know, people in general, you have a major influence on people around you. And this is kind of like, you're getting recognized for that by the universe. I also feel like just in general, you just influence people to overcome things in their life. It comes naturally to you. And for some of you guys, this is like your first confirmation. Some of you guys are already aware that you naturally do this. I'm also seeing something about you progress in your career. Now, this could be... This could be way off in the future for some of you is what I'm seeing. Like some of you guys could still be in school. The Six of Wands can talk about a graduation, a reward, recognition. Judgment, Four of Swords. Overcoming a challenge is what I'm seeing happen for you the rest of March. You are being asked to rest. You are being asked to have good judgment with your own energy, of protecting your own energy. Be careful with who you overshare with, overgive to, is what I want to say. Because you're really abundant right now. I feel like you're going to be attracting all kinds of energies to you. And you're going to have to use discernment with who deserves to be in your energetic field. Because, you know... People can bring you down. You don't want that. Strong water energy, fixed. You could be dealing with another fixed sign. The fixed signs are Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. We have water and air. All right. What else for Scorpio? There will be timestamps after the live if you want to skip past any parts you're not interested in. They're pinned to the top of the comment section. Give me an angel number for Scorpio. I love, I love, I love tarot. It says, I am perceptive. Your angel number is 16. Okay. The card says you have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings and with your wisdom seeker and your angels ask you to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. You're a guide. That's, you know, and some of you guys, it doesn't have to be as extravagant as being like an influencer of some kind, uh, you know, on the internet. Some of you guys, yeah, you have that potential. But it's all about what you feel called to do as an individual. You have this unique quality to you, Scorpio, and it's like, it's no coincidence when you enter people's lives or what, what you're doing throughout the day, it's no coincidence. 
You're being put there for a reason. The universe is conspiring to, to get you on the right path. Okay, and this is your sign. Some of you guys, it's just being yourself and entering situations and being around people that is your purpose because you offer some sort of, you're a guide, okay? What else? Okay, sorry, I had to calm myself down for a second. I'm, I'm like really feeling pumped up for some reason, <laughs> okay? You could be feeling that way. Let's see. You're going to have to balance out this energy, though. Like, be humble, right? Be humble about the things you do. I know some people say, like, don't be humble, but, you know, I, I feel like, you know, it says situations in the balance require careful handling. When you are embodying that, you know, energy of, you know, being a guide, you do have to not only balance out your own energies, of course, but you, you know, you have a, you have a responsibility here because you have such a strong influence on other people, whether you realize it or not. People really listen to you in detail. Uh, a deep friendship's coming towards you. It says deep friendship with someone. Could be someone of the same sex, okay? Someone new is entering your life. It doesn't have to be, though, okay? This could just be, like, if you're a feminine individual, if you were more feminine, this is someone who's also in that energy. If you're more masculine, you have a, a masculine energy coming towards you. You're connecting with someone here. We all have masculine and feminine inside of us, okay? Now, there's someone new of significance that is about to enter your life or that just recently entered your life, okay? Fear, worry, intense situations, What's going on with that? It does look like the rest of March, there might be some sort of, why do I feel like something you've already been, because you know, the high priestess and stuff, there's something you've already been feeling worried about, or like you're picking up on something that's going to come to, you're going to get clarity on that. Okay. That you were correct about something, but then you overcome the problem. Okay, so there's some sort of tense situation. I see that, you know, being a thing of the past eventually. Uh, you might feel like you need to defend yourself. Um, some of you guys may feel like you need to defend your actions or defend yourself. That's, I don't want you to be overly worried about that. Okay. The moon is here. It's like this, there's going to be a situation that happens and it's like sudden. Remember the tower came out in the beginning of your reading. There's going to be something that suddenly kind of feels like it's happening, sudden chaos or, or with another person. I feel like it's going to be very short lived. So don't even stress it. Don't let other people be who they are and, and do what they do. Because um, it's telling me with the moon energy, that's going to be very short-lived. Now, I'm also getting uh, some sort of business opportunity that's coming toward you. That can help you leave a position. Okay, some of you guys, I'm also specifically getting... If you're not leaving a place of employment, there's definitely some sort of like change happening for you in the future when it comes to your employment okay so you could be receiving a, a raise here of course or some of you guys will be receiving some sort of change at your job a promotion yeah because you come across as someone who's goal oriented with the target like i feel like your boss or the higher ups are looking at you like you're someone who they can really depend on rely on and also you're very protected Protected from negative forces that are beyond your control. You don't even realize, like, how the universe is protecting you from things. <clears throat> Cupid's arrow. 
Okay, so I see somebody wanting to spend time with you here in the future. Hmm. Those of you that are single, you're needing to do some more healing right now. Focusing on yourself, your self-worth, okay? I feel like there is something here that you're still needing to heal or, you know, tie up some loose ends here possibly from the past or, you know, this could be just within your own self. But it's saying love is coming. If you find, okay, listen, your triggers, and I know y'all know this, but some of you guys don't. This is the message. Things that are triggering you right now are, you know, that's, you need to take a look at that because that's where, that's, that's triggering the unhealed version of yourself. I have to remind myself this as well. When other people or situations trigger us, that's when it's time to go within. That's the perfect opportunity to take a look at, at what needs to be healed. Because I do feel like within a relationship, you could be getting triggered by something someone's doing or saying or the lack thereof. Does it have to be romantic? Okay, some of you guys, this could just be within a family dynamic or, you know, friendship, but it could be romantic. But there's something here about you learning how to let go. I do see turmoil here. Okay, I am seeing some sort of tur turmoil, some shape or form. Yeah, look, healing heart. So it does look like you and someone else are being put together to learn some type of lesson here. It could be a new person for some of you guys, or this is a situation that has not fully matured, right? It hasn't gotten off the ground for sure, whether it's a new person or someone that you do have some sort of history with. But you two are being put together to learn some type of lesson, to heal something within yourselves. And the universe really wants you two to trigger each other is what I'm getting. You, you're being triggered by someone. They're being triggered by you. That's the way it works, guys. I do see you going out on a date. If you are single, there's someone coming in, if they haven't already. Who is this person? Those of you that are completely single, there's someone coming towards you. They're going to chase you. This person has abandonment issues. So like this is very intimate. And then with separation, golly. So it's like this person. Then we have cassette. And there goes Luna. She was napping. I don't know. Anyway, this person goes back and forth from being an avoidant to a chaser. And, you know, that doesn't make this person a bad person. I feel like they just have some abandonment issues here with the chase or the separation. This person has a tendency to, like, fall back when they're starting to feel consumed by you. Okay. They do think a lot about you though, okay? But they're unsure. The separation tells me this person's unsure about a future with you. We have abundance. So keep a positive mindset. Those of you that are trying to manifest certain things, you're being reminded to keep a positive mindset. We have twin flames. So me as a reader, the twin flame card talks about yin and yang. It talks about, you know, balancing out each other, complementing each other. Um, your personal opinion on Twin Flames is totally cool. I'm just reading the cards. So I feel like there is someone in your life or about to enter your life, and you'll know exactly who I'm talking about if this reading is for you. You guys are being put in each other's paths to learn lessons and do some deep healing. Some of you already knew that. Singles and the new person. I'll do two spreads for this. We're going to start with the singles. Who's coming toward my singles?
single, loosely involved, technically single. Okay. Every connection, just spoiler alert, if you don't know, every connection we have, it, we're, we're, we're put in each other's paths to learn something. You know, trigger each other, learn something. We are. It's just some people just don't evolve, you know? Some people stay in that loop. And you will naturally repel people who are not evolving with you. Regardless of how you, you know, truly feel about them, right? If they're not in your frequency, or, or regardless of how you feel like they should be acting towards you, or how you feel like they should fit in your life, when you're evolving and you're shifting your energy, your frequency, raising it or lowering it, it does naturally repel people. Or draw them in, right? Depending on how you two are, you know, coexisting or, you know, how you two are balancing each other out, right? Who's coming toward my single Scorpios? Who's coming toward you? The Nine of Pentacles. Well, I don't think they're fully ready to commit. It could be a Libra or a Taurus with that Empress energy. This person has a lot of love to give Scorpio, but I don't think they're ready to... Yeah, look, Four of Pentacles. Six of Cups. Past energy baggage. Okay, somebody here may still be holding on to... I think it's emotional baggage, though. Could be physical baggage for some of you, but I am getting emotional baggage the full... They truly do want a new beginning here in their life. Very nurturing person. Like this is someone who has a lot of love to give. They have a lot of love to give. Could be an earth sign with the nine of pentacles, the empress, specifically Taurus. The empress is Taurus energy. It's also Libra. What are their intentions towards Scorpio? conflict this is the kind of person that's going to push you away to see okay and you know some of you guys don't want to deal with that i can already see the comments now i have to read the cards the way they come out i have to their intentions five of swords this is someone who self-sabotages so i feel like they do still have some healing here to do but the, the great thing is it looks like they recognize it. But their intentions, they self-sabotage their connections. They create conflict. Two of Wands. They see a future with you with the Two of Wands, but what is the self-sabotaging for? Let's see. Five of Cups. You know, this is someone that's like, they're not very hopeful that things last or that things will go well. Hmm. I feel like th this person feels a little lost, Scorpio, with the Five of Cups. It's kind of like them thinking about how it could go wrong. 20 ways it could go wrong. Okay, with the Five of Cups, Five of Swords. Fives are significant. You could be seeing five, five, five a lot. That's confirmation. I'm also getting nines and twos, two, two, two. Okay. So just be mindful. And, and you know, you don't have to bend over backwards for this person by any means. I'm not saying that, but I am saying like, that's what's up. That when someone, when this person enters your life and they start acting funny, that's why. I feel like this person has an avoidant personality when it comes to their emotions, five of cups, five of swords, and they create conflict and they self-sabotage. It's almost a feeling of like, 
deep somewhere down that I don't even think they're aware of, like in their subconscious, they feel unworthy of love. And it has a lot to do with the way they were raised. It has a lot, to, as it does with all of us, has a lot to do with the, their past connections. I'm not trying to stand up for this person, but I feel like, you know, they've been burned a lot with that five of cups, five of swords. Let's see. Seven of cups. They're confused. I do see this person having choices when they enter your life. Multiple directions here. Mixed signals. Yeah, look at that. Eight of cups. Avoidant. Emotionally avoidant. I don't think this person is 100% emotionally available upon entering your life. The nine of pentacles, the empress, at their core, they want to nurture a connection and they want to express emotion. But the nine of pentacles is also an energy of being non-committal and not ready for commitment. Tell me more. The good thing is it looks, you know, the Eight of Cups is also a period of introspection. I feel like this person, the Seven of Cups, they truly do want to figure this out. And remember, this could be predictive energy. Okay, you're all on different timelines. I have a lot of people that tell me the readings came into fruition weeks later. Okay. What else do we need to know about this person for single Scorpios? Ten of Swords. Again, they've been burned a lot. Okay. Six of Swords. The Devil. Knight of Pentacles. If you're going to deal with this person, it is going to require a lot of patience. You don't have to deal with them. But if you are, it's going to require a lot of patience. Okay. King of Swords, a lot of understanding and communication. Three of Pentacles, a lot of wanting to build something. Cooperation, Three of Cups, bonding, being friends first, okay? Communicating. Now, Ten of Swords, Six of Swords, the Devil. This is just confirming everything I was saying. They definitely need to deal with... I feel like this person has had a hard time with their own personal boundaries in the past. Okay, and, and they've reached a point in their life upon meeting you where they are really trying to figure this out. And unfortunately, with the Five of Swords, some of you Scorpios may be at the... How do I want to say that? I don't want to say they're using you to figure this out, but it's like you may get the short end of the stick because, you know, this person is not ready and will require a lot of patience. Capricorn is here. I also want to tell you, make sure you have your own boundaries. Set your own boundaries with, with this person. Seven of Swords, King of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. And we have Temperance. They're trying to figure out how to love without, okay, no. They're trying to figure out how to get what they want without turning into the person that betrayed them in the past. So Scorpio, it's like, you know, the Seven of Swords being here is sneaky energy. I feel like there may be some things that this person is not telling you with the Seven of Swords. But it's clarified by the King of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. I don't think it's anything like super malicious. I do feel like this person is at a crossroads in their life. And they're trying to figure out how to get people to treat them the way they want to be treated. Empress, the Devil, the Six of Swords, Ten of Swords. But it's like they're trying to figure out how to do that without becoming the person that betrayed them in the past. 
And so these energies are getting all mixed up with the Seven of Cups, the Eight of um, Eight of Cups. So it's kind of like, you know, you may be thinking this person's acting funny. Okay, and, and again, you know, if you want to deal with that, it's going to require a lot of patience. We have Libra, Taurus, Water, Air, Capricorn. A little bit of fires there. Let's move on to the new person. So those of you that already have an idea of this new person, someone who recently entered your life that you don't have a whole lot of history with, who is this new person? Who are they? They're the star. Ace of Wands, King of Cups, Six of Cups. There's something so familiar to you about this person on like a soul level. Okay, I wasn't ready for that. I don't think you were ready for this person to enter your life. There just seems to be some sort of drawl you have toward one another on a soul level. The six of cups to me as a reader can be like, I feel like you're picking up on some loyal energy from this person. I feel like you're picking up on some sort of like past life energy or it feels that way to you, right? That's how you're going to know who we're talking about. There's something about this person's aura or energy you really like. I think that's how you would describe this person, you know? You know, and it's almost like there's like this invisible string. Okay. But this is interesting. Who, 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 who? <laughs> we have Aquarius here. All right. How does this new person see Scorpio? How do they see you right now? The person, the new person, how do they see Scorpio? I feel like, you know, there's a lot of, the Ace of Wands, there's a lot of fiery passion there, but also like, I don't, it's, it's hard for me to describe because it's almost like there's something about this person. I'm getting like, call it what you want, uh, lyrics, call it what you want. The lyrics to that song, it's almost like, trust them. Like you feel like you can really trust this person. Because I'm hearing like, trust them like a brother. male or female. It's just a lyric. It's a metaphor. Um, but there's something pulling you in. How does this new person view Scorpio versus how Scorpio views them? How does Scorpio view them? This is somebody you watch. You keep tabs on page of swords. There, there is either communication happening now or, you know, that's what you're waiting on. The Page of Swords is also an energy of, like, you're curious about this person so much to the point to where you're doing research on them or you're looking them up, okay? Or you're watching them in some kind of way. They see you as the Seven of Pentacles. They're very interested in you. Tell me more about this interest they have for Scorpio. Earth and Air is here. This person wants to know what you've been through. How did you get here? Wherever you are right now. They're, they're like, how did Scorpio get to where Scorpio is right now? What has happened in Scorpio's? This is a deep person. Okay, whether you realize it or not. Three of Swords. You're not somebody that wears your pain. Luna. Y'all, she was passed out until I went live. She was sleeping. You're not somebody that is, like, you don't wear your emotions on your face, okay? You're somebody that, they find you very interesting because you don't look like you're seeking attention. You don't look like you wear your pain, uh, okay? You're, you're just kind of, they're really intrigued by that. 
how does this new person feel about Scorpio? Four of Swords in reverse. They think about you more than you realize, is what it's telling me. Four of Swords in reverse. You cross their mind a lot. They feel like they feel like they think about you a lot. They're like, why am I thinking about Scorpio so much? Tell me more about that. Three of Swords. They want to know your dark side. So it's like, they just kind of see you as someone who is calm, like you're chill with the Four of Swords, but it's in reverse. They know there's another side to you. They know there's more depth to you, and, and they want to know that depth. They want to know the pain you've been through. You, you could be dealing with another Scorpio, because that seems like such a Scorpio thing, but we got Leo at the bottom of the deck, Strength card. I'm just strongly getting... This person wants to figure you out. They want to know what made you who you are today, what you've been through. They want to understand you. The strength card came out again. Yeah, they 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 feel as if you're someone who does hold... The, you're very composed, okay, with your energy. You appear to be someone who is in control of themselves, but they know that there's a wild side there. They know that you have some sort of wild side to you, and they want to see it. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much, babe. Tell me more. Tell me more. Queen of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. They're curious about your family dynamic. Luna, honey, what are you doing? Baby, come say hello. Come on. Say hi. I love you. Luna wanted some attention, y'all. She wants to say hello. Okay. Anywho. So again, this person does think about you a lot and they're really curious. Like, I feel this person is like wondering why they think so much about you. And whether they use this terminology or not, you know, the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, this person kind of sees you as a member of their tribe, a member of their soul family. Like there's definitely some sort of soul recognition going on here. And it, and it has mostly to do with your energy. And again, sometimes people can't explain the, the way they see and feel people. But if like they had the words to explain it, that's how they would explain it. Fire, uh, specifically Leo is here. Libra is here. Some more air energy. Aquarius especially. Uh, water is also here. What's this new person's hidden truth? Luna just gets bored, guys. It's so crazy. Like, <laughs> that's why she does that. Okay. This person thinks that you're you're too good for them on some level. I don't think that they would say that to themselves though. So how I'm getting this is it's kind of like this person is feeling their hidden truth towards you. Is there some type of recognition there? And before meeting you, they did lose themselves for a while. Like this is somebody that might have been in a state of limbo in their life before you two met. And it's like meeting you may have activated something in this person. Okay. I feel this person sees you in a better light than they see other people with the, I compare others to you. And they're just really wondering what's underneath the surface again. Okay. This person held back to you, held, held back from you. Okay. They wanted to say something to you, but they held back from you. The last time you two interacted with each other or were around each other, they had something they wanted to say, but they, they held it back. I don't know what it was specifically, 
but it is telling me they wanted to say there's going to be another chance here for you two to like it says we will be together again i'm starting to understand our connection this person does feel an unexplainable pull towards you scorpio okay take what resonates uh don't try to make a message fit okay don't force the message to fit please very important so if it doesn't resonate to so give it some time or you know check your other signs we're going to take a look at the current slash past person so this is someone that you have established some sort of past with there's a little bit of history there and thank you guys for liking the video thank you so much for doing that and for commenting okay let's see what happened in the past with Scorpio and this person? Somebody was dishonest. Libra energy. Somebody didn't tell the truth. This is also uh, a lack of accountability. Okay, something, something was and still is imbalanced here. But I'm just getting like a really dishonest person, dishonest energy. They, they're, they're not telling you something, okay? Tell me more about that. Five of Pentacles. So this person is trying to maintain control. I feel like with the Emperor here, Aries energy. This is somebody who tries to maintain control and it's a fear of being abandoned. This person has an abandonment, a fear of abandonment with the five of pentacles, okay? A fear of a loss, okay? And so this is someone, this is the kind of person that will walk away from you before you get the chance to walk away from them. If they start to feel as if you have too much power over them with the emperor, the page of wands. Now this person or you, there, there could be an age gap here. We have the Emperor and the Page of Wands. There could be an age gap. Doesn't have to be, but that is what these cards mean. We got a Page and an Emperor. Judgment card at the bottom of the deck. They want to give this a chance, but they're afraid you're going to walk away. If it's not an age gap, someone could be your, this could be, uh, you know, your boss, a workplace situation with the emperor, or even, you know, at school, for those of you that are in school, the emperor can be an establishment of some kind. What's so interesting, yeah, look, golly, what's so interesting is there's a lot of flirtation between you two, or there was. So how do they see Scorpio right now? The judgment card is just saying what I had already said. They just they want they still want to take a chance on you, it's telling me. I'm specifically getting with the page of wands, the judgment card, exchanging some sort of maybe you guys uh of course you did, why wouldn't you? But it's like some sort of exchange in numbers here or like texting, phone calls, things like that. Tell me more about that. Let's get a little bit more. The moon. This connection comes with a lot of anxiety and a lot of confusion. This is not a smooth sailing connection by any means. Okay. Being asked to trust your intuition, eight of cups. Somebody is emotionally avoidant. And the reason they're acting this way is you know, the five of pentacles, the, what they're being dishonest about is they're afraid you're going to leave them behind. There's something else too, but I don't know the specifics of your situation. So, you know, they're being dishonest about something and maybe you know what it is, but some of you guys, you can't pinpoint what it is with the five of pentacles, but the moon says you're, you're accurate. You're right about that. Trust your intuition. How do they see Scorpio? They see you as 
someone who's a little more free spirited than them. Okay. And I feel like that may scare this person. Like you go with the flow a lot more. And for some reason, subconsciously with the moon, that gives this person the impression that you could easily go with the flow out the door in the other direction. <laughs> okay. Um, but there's something about you that scares them. And, and it's like your, your free spirited nature. You may come across as like spontaneous. Okay. This person is fearing that you might switch up on them. And, and guys, the emperor is here. This is someone who needs structure. Like this is someone with the emperor being here. They need to know they, they need structure. They need the very kind of controlling. Okay. Energy. Like they need to know every detail of what's going on. Okay. Eight of pentacles. This is, you know, could be about routine. Hmm. You scare them. Okay. Tell me more. You are a big lesson for this person. You bring this person or you brought this person out of their comfort zone. Yeah, they don't know what to expect, two of wands. They don't know what direction you're going to go. Again, that's just clarifying everything I said. I didn't really need to pull that. Two of wands, the full eight of cups. They fear you will switch up on them or they had already witnessed this. Okay. Six of Cups talks about reoccurring issues in their life. Okay. The past. How do they feel about Scorpio? How do they feel about you? The Tower that, okay. They fear you get, okay. They feel the tower. You have made some sort of impact on this person. And I feel like there's a lot of inner chaos happening. I don't think you're aware of this. The moon's here. Some of you are because you're so intuitive, right? I don't think this person has fully expressed this to you. I don't think so. Some of you, they may have. I have a lot of Scorpios here. You're not all going through the same exact situation, of course, but they feel like... Things are just crumbling down around them. This is someone that's definitely having some sort of epiphany or awakening. And I feel like they're fighting it. With the emperor here, they fight it. They're, you're causing them to go at war. There's a lot of Mars energy here. Like, I feel like you're causing some sort of internal conflict with inside of them, like a storm. Tell me more about their feelings for Scorpio. Strength, yeah, wow. They have strong, intense emotions toward you. Page of Swords. There needs to be some communicating here, of course. This page of swords, seven of cups, I feel like there needs to be a new way of communicating with each other. I'm, I'm getting a new way of communicating with each other because the old way is not working. The old way, seven of cups is mixed signals. It's confusing. It, you know, it, 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 it's like, okay, thanks for the math homework, <laughs> right? It's like, I don't want to have to figure out your cryptic messages. Okay. The universe is sending me enough cryptic messages. Can you just tell me what's like, I feel like you're like, can you just say what's on your mind here? Just like be blunt. I need to know. Okay. We have the 10 of swords here, death in reverse. I don't think you want to end the situation, but at the same time, you don't want to be walked all over, right? With the 10 of swords. I feel like you don't want to be used and abused because of somebody's ish. You know what I'm saying? What are their next actions towards Scorpio? I feel like, you know, what's interesting is this person wants you to be patient with them. They are trying, they, they are trying to figure this out. Like they really are. 
Okay, they really are trying to figure out these strong, intense emotions. I just feel like whatever happened here, Scorpio, you guys may have entered each other's lives in the past at a moment this person was really going through it and or avoiding. They were avoiding something within themselves and you're bringing it out with that tower. Okay. Hierophant, it could be a Taurus for some of you. Tell me more about the Hierophant. Now that card wasn't supposed to come out. I, I actually, I don't know if y'all saw it, but I knocked it out of the deck by accident. Tell me about the Hierophant. This is somebody here that they're starting to realize that their life is not going the way that they had thought it was going to go. Because let's go back to the Emperor. This person had a certain idea, like a checklist because they were programmed that way. And, and, and right now they're being deprogrammed. And there's a lot of belief systems that are getting busted right now within this person. Ideas, beliefs. They're going through some sort of birthing pain. Uh, it's like a transformation within self. It's like the growing pains, right? Lovers, Gemini energy. I'll tell you what, at the root of all this, they want to have a healthy connection with you, but seven of swords, I'm sorry, seven of, I misspeak sometimes when reading tarot. I see what I'm saying. I see it, but I say it wrong. So just bear with me. Seven of wands is what I meant to say. You know, I just feel like this person is really defensive right now. Okay. Very defensive toward this connection because it does feel so intense. I feel like you are forcing this person to deal with their ish. Maybe not even verbally forcing them. Energetically, you're forced. There's something about your energy and this person's energy. You guys were brought together. You are energetically forcing this person to deal with something. The root cause of their problems. Of their self-sabotage. What's their hidden truth for Scorpio? They want you, okay? They don't want to let you go. But some of you guys are like, well, wait a second. What do you mean they don't want to let me go? They're acting funny. They don't want to let you go. <clears throat> and now y'all know that saying where it's like, if they would, if, if they wanted to, they would. Yeah, to a certain degree. But people got, y'all... We all got mental mental problems, right? <laughs> okay, we're all at one point or another messed up, okay? And this is not a case of if they wanted to, they would. I feel like they really do want you and they don't want to let you go. They just have some problems that they're trying to work through. And guess what? You don't have to stick around while they work through them. You have free will. Because if you do stick around, I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to require a ton of patience. A ton of patience. I lost myself for a little while. They don't want to just be your friend. I'm saying they're starting to understand the connection on some level. So that translates to me as a reader that this person is starting to figure... They're... They're definitely taking a look at their actions. They're definitely taking, they're, they're wanting to figure out why they're self-sabotaging. They're wanting to figure out why they're doing this. Okay, on some level, whether they're communicating that with you or not. And you have to, all you can do is be yourself. And you know, if you're still in communication with this person, you can plant the seeds. But as far as energy is concerned, all you can do is energetically give to yourself and let this person figure it out. Because, you know, we can't, we can't directly, people have to learn for themselves. There's no other way for people to get it. You, me, them, we all have to come to our own conclusions in order to learn the lesson. That's why, you know, it doesn't just blatantly get told to us. Gemini's here, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Aries, Libra, Pisces, more fixed energy. You could be dealing with another fixed sign. Aries is here in Scorpio. I do 
see, I saw the six of swords, so it's kind of like a rite of passage. So it's like, it's, there's a rite of passage happening. It's kind of like, welcome to your turn. Also for them, welcome to their turn. We all go through it. We all have to figure out our stuff in order to get to the other side. And that's what's happening. And you have the power to control your life. Okay, we're going to do Aries through Pisces. This is if you're dealing with this sign. Okay. <clears throat> Aries through Pisces, please. stability is what I'm getting. I just saw four of pentacles. Focus on your own stability, your own growth, your own foundation. Five of wands. Let this person battle it out with themselves. Just be true to you and true to what you want. Okay, Aries through Pisces. If you're dealing with an Aries, six of wands, the Aries is noticing you. I see you getting recognized, recognition, but from an Aries, eight of pentacles. What? For your efforts. Okay. An Aries is recognizing you for your efforts. Okay. Uh, I'm definitely getting the Aries paying very close attention to you at this time. If you're dealing with a Taurus, queen of swords. Taurus is cutthroat with the Queen of Swords energy. Okay. Um, what is that about? Seven of Swords. The Taurus thinks that you're going to betray them. So they're in this Queen of Swords energy. The Taurus is trying to uh, stand in their own power. Sorry, Scorpio. That's what I'm getting. The Taurus thinks that you'll betray them. If you're dealing with a Gemini, the Empress, this Gemini has feelings for you. Okay. Feelings that are growing. Let's see. Eight of Wands. Communication coming in from... You're going to know how this Gemini feels about you. Because they're going to come in and communicate with you. If you're dealing with a Cancer. A reunion. Some, a, a Cancer coming back from the dead. Right? If you're dealing with a Leo. Conflict, conflict, conflict. Seven of Wands. Leo is very defensive towards you. I see that Leo just wanting to start drama with you. If you're dealing with a Virgo, communication coming in from a Virgo, what do they want? Queen of Wands. I feel like the Virgo just wants to know what you're up to. The Virgo is attracted to, there's some sort of magnetic pull for this Virgo to come communicate with you. Make some sort of, um, I'm getting like a playful gesture towards you. If you're dealing with a Libra, Five of Swords. What is this conflict about? Queen of Pentacles. I feel like if you're dealing with a Libra, they got something going on. There's some other conflict about another person that you might not know anything about. Eight of Wands. Queen of Pentacles again. The Libra's trying to grow, and the, the Libra's just going through something. Don't take it personally. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, uh, they're coming back around to confuse you even further. They still haven't made a decision. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they have strong emotions for you. Okay, they want you. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, this Capricorn thinks you have a lot of determination. Seven of Pentacles. The Capricorn thinks you, they see you as resilient, determined. Uh, I do see the Capricorn wanting to approach you because of your, your aura. Okay, the way you carry yourself. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, a lot of patience required with the Aquarius if you want to deal with them. If you're dealing with a Pisces, they're coming towards you. Two of Cups. For a union, the Pisces wants to be in a relationship with you or some sort of connection. How you feel about the Pisces is how they feel about you. It's mutual energy. Alrighty, Scorpio. I hope this gave you some clarity. 
If it did not, you can check your other signs or check back next time. Thank you guys so much for being here and liking the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.